everyone welcome to topic of the day this is our sunday edition where we discuss with you the places that have been in news lately so right now ukraine russia conflict is up in news everywhere as we know that russia has invaded ukraine and it has been around 3 days now so as of now the russian troops have entered the capital city kiev now what is this crisis about the crisis revolves around ukraine willing to join the nato that is the north atlantic treaty organization In 2008 Ukraine applied for NATO membership and since then Ukraine has seen tensions because some part of the population wants to strengthen ties with Russia while others wants to join NATO. We know that this region Crimea was annexed in 2014 by Russia. Back in 2014 96% of the population in Crimea voted to be a part of Russia in a referendum. Now this incident gave a boost to several separatist groups in Luhansk and Donetsk region for separation from Ukrainian government and this led to a civil war between Ukrainian forces and the separatist groups that were backed by Russia in this region this region is combinedly known as the Donbas region of Ukraine now what happened after this is world leaders came together in Minsk that is the capital of Belarus to sign a Minsk agreement that was about cease fire in this region so the Minsk agreement of 2015 was a peace agreement where ukraine had to give certain autonomy to the luhansk and the donetsk region and in the current scenario president putin has turned this agreement to be null and void and declared these regions to be independent countries so these regions are run by russian and russian backed separatist groups these breakaway territories are heavily dependent on moscow for financial and military support and their leaders have openly proposed joining the russian federation So if we look at the map these two are the regions which is the Luhansk and Donetsk region and combinedly called the Donbas region of Ukraine of the eastern Ukraine and in the current scenario these two have been recognized as independent countries or independent states by Russia let us now talk about the map of Ukraine Ukraine is surrounded by seven countries as you can see Russia with Russia Ukraine has the largest border nearing about 1600 kilometers then you have Belarus Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Moldova and it also has coastline with the Black Sea and the Sea of Azov. After Russia it has second largest border line with Moldova with around 939 kilometers and the third largest with Belarus with around 891 kilometers. And it is surrounded by seven countries. Here we have the Black Sea and here we have the Sea of Azov. So I'll leave you with the first question of the day. You have to name the strait that connects the Sea of Azov with the Black Sea. You can write your answers in the comment section below and you can easily find the hint in the map itself. If we talk about the largest river of Ukraine, it is known as the Dnipro River or the Dnieper River. The Dnieper River and it divides Ukraine in the left and the right banks, the right and the left banks. It is also important from the point of view of navigation. Now Ukraine is the 45th largest country in the world and also the second largest country in Europe by area. If we talk about the normal demography, 67% of the people staying in Ukraine speak Ukrainian and 30% of the people speak Russian. Around 17% of the population is ethnically Russian. The land in this region is generally plain. or the ukrainian soil is generally plain but in the southwest there is carpathian mountains in this region and the majority of the land is fertile black soil that is well suited for grain farming therefore ukraine has been one of the largest exporters of grain in the world and to be precise it has been the third largest exporter of grain in the world now if we talk about some of the major cities of ukraine we have the capital city kiev and in the north you can see the city named as chernobyl Now Chernobyl is famous the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. So what happened is that there was a catastrophic nuclear leak due to a flawed nuclear reactor. Now why this region is important because it is just 130 kilometers away from the capital city Kyiv. The nuclear power plant Chernobyl is acquired by the Russian forces. Now the Chernobyl nuclear power point has been abandoned from years now. 32 km from this region that is the Chernobyl region is devoid of any human life and it is the exclusive zone which was kept closed after the 1986 accident 
Moving on south, we have Odessa. Odessa is also one of the important cities of Ukraine, one of the main seaport. And as of now, Russians said to have captured the Black Sea Island, which is south of this Odessa city. Then to the west, you can see the city known as Lviv. And here we have the Luhansk and the Donetsk region, which are the regions having more than 95% of the Russian influence. Now, the major question is why is Ukraine that important to Russia? Now, this region is of strategic importance to Russia as it is a buffer zone between the NATO countries and Russia. So the majority of Russian pipelines for natural gas from Russia crosses through this region. So Ukraine has fertile black soil that is well suited for grain production, unlike Russia. Also, if we talk about the Donbass region of Ukraine, it has large amount of mineral reserves in the eastern part of Ukraine. So in the current scenario, Russian soldiers are present not just in the eastern region of Russia on the eastern borders, but in the Crimean Peninsula and in Belarus as well. Now, the Belarus government or the infamous dictator of Belarus is also pro-Russia. Therefore, it is actually supporting Russia in invading Ukraine. So in the current scenario, major cities of Ukraine have been invaded by Russia. As a result, major countries have put economic sanctions. And in fact, Germany has stopped the certification of Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. Now, as we have discussed in earlier videos as well, the Nord Stream pipeline is a major project of Russia that connects Russian region to Germany and it runs through the Baltic Sea. Coming to India, India, China and the United Arab Emirates have abstained from voting against Russia in the United Nations Security Council. So this was all about the Ukraine-Russia crisis as of the current scenario. Let Moving on, let us talk about the Golan Heights now. Now, recently, this was a news as Israel fired several surface-to-surface -surface missile towards the Syrian military in the Golan Heights region. Now, let's look into the map. Golan Heights is around 1800 km square region. It is a mountainous region, a rocky plateau in the southwestern part of Syria. Now, this region was annexed by Israel in the Six-Day War of 1967 that happened between Israel and five Arab nations. So the Arab nations were Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Israel and Egypt. Now since then there has been tensions between Syria and Israel over the Golan Heights region. And there were talks about ceasefire back in 1974 between both the countries. But Israel refused to give back the Golan Heights region. In the current scenario, two-third of the Golan Heights region is under Israel, whereas one-third region is under the Syrian government. Israel unilaterally annexed the entire Golan Heights region in 1981. Now, this annexation is not officially recognized by the international community, but the United States of America backs Israel over this issue. Now, the question is why this region is strategically important for Israel. First of all, as the name suggests, Golan Heights, we can understand that this is a mountainous region and a mountainous region always has a natural advantage or a natural military advantage due to its height. Now, as you can see, Sea of Galilee, that is the biggest source of water for Israel, and that is adjoining the Golan Heights. Also, the Jordan River flows through this region, and there is another river known as the Yarmouk River in the south of Israel. Secondly, the Golan Heights region acts as buffer zone between Syria and Israel. As you can see that, as you can see that Israel is surrounded by countries on all the sides with which it has disputes, and Egypt towards this side. Moving on, let's talk about the Solomon Islands now. Recently, the United States stated that it will open an embassy in the Solomon Islands. This was in response to counter the China's growing influence and ambitions in this region. The US previously operated an embassy in the Solomons for five years before closing it in 1993. And since then, the US diplomats from neighboring countries like Papua New Guinea accredited to the Solomons, which has a U.S. consular agency. If we see Solomons is a group of islands, it has around 992 islands in which only 147 are inhabited. And as you can see that here you have the Papua New Guinea, Pacific Ocean over here, Coral Sea over here. So if we talk about the Solomon Islands, it is a country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean and lie in the northeast of Australia and southwest of Hawaii. 
they have around 992 islands of which only 147 are inhabited and it used to be a britain territory it gained independence in 1978 now the honiara on the north coast of guadalcanal island is the solomon islands capital and the largest city as you can see in the map this is the honiara and this one is the guadalcanal island as of today between 70 to 80 percent of the population live a subsistence form of life in small villages and settlements and around 95 percent of the population are christians the solomon islands are generally volcanic in origin covered with fast flowing rivers and streams and it is home to many endemic flora and fauna species which also includes the common cardinal lorry the cardinal lorry is a parrot species it is generally red in color and it is mainly found in the mangrove and lowland forest of the Solomon Islands. So this particular species is endemic to this region. And with this, we wind up the today's edition of Places and News. I hope you liked the video. For regular updates, you can follow us on our social media handles. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.